Hello and welcome to the CO Experts side-by-side -side bag test demonstration. Today, part of the CO Experts team, Carol, Bob, and Don are here to help you and show you how you can demonstrate to your customers how valuable the low-level CO Experts health monitor is. Bob, go ahead. Great. Thank you, Don. Um, we've taken the CO Experts, uh, opened up the box, taken out the instruction booklet, um, we've got the monitor itself, the base of the monitor. It is a 10-part-per-million um, model. Um, this has a back plate that we will slide in. This is the enacting switch. Okay, this one indicates the 10 parts per million, that it will alert us to levels um, when they get above 10 parts per million. We've turned it on. It's going to give us four beeps telling us that it's ready. Our display is in parts per million. We can also do a peak, how much CO has been on the monitor. And then we have a carboxyhemoglobin percent screen that tells us how much carbon monoxide, if we were in an amount, what our approximate blood level for carbon our carboxyhemoglobin would be. It all, then we'll go back to actual real-time measurement in parts per million. Um, we have a silence button and a test button. Test it. Okay. So we know the audible sound is working. We have a stand that we can put it on and we can just set it up on a tabletop. Um, we all take it with us when we travel. We also have a back uh, for the back plate. We have screws uh, and mount uh, mounting stations for the alarm. We also have Velcro that we can use. What we're going to do now is um, Don with the hundred part per million gas of carbon monoxide. We're going to um, go ahead and demonstrate the side by side test of the UL twenty thirty four. Uh, listed alarms. Now these are high level detectors. These are the most common ones that people are using in their homes and in their buildings. Um, we're going to put on our mounting stand. We're going to put it inside this bag. Now because we have several detectors in here, um, we normally wouldn't need this big of a bag if we just were comparing you know, one that may be in a customer's house or something. So we're going to slide this over. We're going to try to discharge as much random air in the bag as we can so we don't have to use all that gas. And then we're going to close the little hose on. We're going to separate it a little bit so we can see what we're doing. And then, Don, if you want to apply some gas. It's no. helpful to hold on to the straw so it doesn't come loose on you and just give it some gas into the bag. So we don't need very much in the inaugural test a demonstration. Um, and while we're talking about it, the UL2034, regardless of the brand, if it has a digital display, they are not allowed to display anything under 30 parts per million. And that's important to, un to know, particularly if you want to protect people or customers um, or family members that have heart problems, if uh, a pregnant woman her fetus, any newborn um, infants, young children, anybody with a series of, of uh, health problems, uh, they certainly want to be notified, like we've just been notified here, that we're over 10 parts per million of carbon monoxide. It's helpful to wait just a little bit to give them the alarms a chance to see the carbon monoxide at the sensor. So now as we're, we're over here noticing that the digital monitor for UL2034, brand, this brand, um, again, it's not allowed to display what this one is allowing us to display. So again, for the ultimate protection of when carbon monoxide may first be getting in a building, and when it goes off above 10 parts per million, if we were to rise over and continue to accelerate, accumulate concentration of carbon monoxide, if it gets over 25 parts per million, it will override a silence that occurs um, or that you can occur by hitting the silence button. So now, it's been about four minutes. 
Um, so it sh will go into an automatic 24-hour silence um, unless the level gets above 25 parts per million. And right now we're at 20 parts per million. So Don, why don't you just give it one more quick little dash spray to demonstrate that feature. And we'll just, you know, again, wait. Now one thing you'll notice over here, the UL2034 listed alarm, the accuracy of this, of all UL2034 monitors, um, or carbon monoxide alarms, are plus or minus 30% of what's actually in the air. And they've never been tested at these low levels that can make people sick, compound existing um, uh, health problems. We have uh, eclipsed the next alarm point, which is 25 parts per million. So it'll come out of its silence and let us know. So now we can, through the bag here, we can hit the silence one more time. Now Don, let's give it another quick little shot of gas. And the only way that this will go off now to override that silence is to go over 35 parts per million. And we are approaching that. Now there we are. So now we are over 35 parts per million. This is the evacuation level in most jurisdictions. You bet. Fire departments have their breathing apparatus on and they're evacuating buildings and the two UL2034 alarms have not made a sound. You have to keep this in mind. Now this particular model of CO experts, it will, um, again, we can silence it. But if it goes over 50 parts per million, and it appears that it may reach that with just the gas that we've put in there. Okay, the screen when I silenced it, it read SIL for silence. Uh, we've got 48 parts per million of carbon monoxide uh, present. We've already been alerted three times to the presence of carbon monoxide. If we choose to ignore that, or the customers choose to ignore that, they are jeopardizing the good health that they may have. Don, let's give it a, just another quick little shot. Okay. So now we put some more of that gas in this bag for this demonstration. Once again, giving it time to get to the sensor. And in all the cases for all the sensors this, in this bag, there is no one set place for carbon monoxide to penetrate to get to that sensor. So all the cracks and openings that you see that are visually, that you can see within this bag, um, you'll, that's how carbon monoxide reaches the sensor. We are at 49 parts per million. So we're just with the gas that we've put on there, we're getting close to, and there's no air movement in this bag. You have to keep that in mind. Um, if you move the bag around a little bit, um, then that helps with the dispersion of the, um, of the gas. It's got to be above 50. Once it gets above 50, will give us another alarm. The kitty is now reading 57 parts per million. Um, again, it's all about accuracy and the demands uh, that the uh, CO experts, um, engineers have um, dictated that they wanted it in this product. We'll give it one more little shot. We're just kind of hovering right at 50. Oop, there you go. And I will just give it a big old shot for the rest and we will see if the uh, other monitors make a sound. Well keep in mind that the UL2034 alarms at high level detectors they've only been tested to alarm at 70 parts per million, at um, 150 parts per million, and 400 parts per million. So they're not making a sound. These two here are not allowed to just sound off until they've exceeded 70 parts per million and 70 plus has to be there for one hour. We've been alerted that we're over 50 parts per million. Uh, it's reading high, giving us a constant warning now 
that we are in a level we should not be in. If we've ignored the other levels and silenced it, we should not ignore this. We should get out of the building and call uh, call for help. Call 911. It's important that at this particular level of carbon monoxide within this baggie, the UL2034 alarms will never go off. Yet you could be in 50 parts per million for a long, long time accumulating into your body. And those alarms will never let you know. So, that pretty much concludes uh, this side-by-side -side demonstration. Make sure that you thoroughly read the manufacturer's instructions. Okay, make sure you read these thoroughly. If you are in need of more calibration or test gas, as it were, you may call CO Experts to purchase more. Thank you very much.